Incoming priority message. Hello and good evening everyone who's watching at the moment. I'm back from my little summer break and I have been it was Space Camp 16 when I was last time here and it's good to be back with Macros. Hello Macros. Go. Yeah. How's Glad your back. Yeah, it's nice to be back. How's your summer gone so far? Very hot and very dry. I'm longing for autumn or winter. Hopefully, a little oh. less warmth and more wetness. Don't talk about autumn to me yet. It's just July, so it's hot, yeah. But I like summer. And to that guest, we have Commander Tasper. Good evening. Good evening, sirs. Nice to have you. Well. Thank you for thank you. How has your summer gone so far? It's been quite short but very warm. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that we've had this hot summer in Finland for like three de three decades. I don't think this is yes extraordinary. Usually we have very rainy rainy June and very cold May and maybe in July we might have a little bit of sunshine, but this this summer has been exceptional. Um, so let's get down to business. How has been? How has your trip gone so far, Tesbert? My trip's been okay, apart from exploding at base camp eight and going back to the bubble. But yeah, you had that up. incident. Yeah, and I was not paying attention. Yeah, it happens. I just lost my fourth SRV on this trip. Yes. So the I found your wheel if you want it. <laughs> you saw my wheel. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> how long is that? I might need it some point. But yeah, I think I will be keeping support busy and will be emailing them again because my SRV has exploded because without. Without reason, I had like 80% of hull left and then just boom. And I did jump a bit high and came down a bit fast and rough, but I don't think that should count. But it was the good old excessive, excessive damage bug again. But So, uh, should we get down to business, Macros? Yes, let's get down to business. Um, hang on, just before we do that, I have jumped to normal space and I can see you. Yes, you're in my instance now. I'm. While we're talking, I will be trying to to find a target destination for our job. But yeah. let's get started with the questions. Mm -hmm. Welcome to you, Commander Tasbot. It's very nice to have you here with us today. Thank you for asking me. And congratulations to England on winning your game and. Yes, there were some <laughs> some rude messages on Discord before saying, "Yeah, we're going to beat you." And yes, <laughs> yeah, I heard there's some uh, ball games going around. I don't yeah. follow, but congrats, anyways. <laughs> Congratulations, Tess, But can can you tell us a bit about your commander background? Uh, yes, I started with Elite in 1984. One of the old oh and <laughs> what was out there? <laughs> you're not. You're not the very first I, one. I, I remember think. 1984. I think. Do we, with the lead as well. Has Has there been a single guest yet who hasn't played Elite in '84? Yes, I think so. We are so old. <laughs> yes, we oh, are so old. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> So was that on the BBC yeah. Micron? No, the Sinclair Spectrum 48K. Oh. 
That's some. Um, I yeah. I never had a Spectrum. I started with a CX ZX eighty one. Oh yes. And advanced to the Commodore sixty four. I I never had a Spectrum. I didn't like the. Really. Yeah, not today. That wasn't our biggest problem. We had a. I'd say it was a five-inch TV. Oh, black, black and white. Did you say five? Five. Oh. I think it was five. It looked like an oscilloscope. It's smaller than my oh. phone. It's smaller than my phone. For Christ's sake. Yes. But it wasn't widescreen. Now we were in the Sudan, <laughs> so it was all we could find at the time. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Did you say Sudan? The Sudan, yes. Like in Africa? Yes. Wow. Okay. Yes, the old band aid and so on, I was there. Let's get back to Sudan, even <laughs> when we run out of talking yes, time, because yes. I would be interested in what you were doing in Sudan, but. Many others later. wouldn't. Yeah. No, uh, I didn't hear about any of the other games after Elite until the Kickstarter for this one happened. So, right, I'm in. So I started with the Elite, the Explorer Cobra. So I know my commander tends to only fly ships that have two pilot seats because of that. So originally there was this spare pilot seat nest sitting next to me, so I thought I in my imagination I would fill it with someone, so they're still there. That's bird. Uh your ship name. Where where does it yes. come from? Well the first one was uh Schrodinger's Speakeasy. Yeah I the idea was you never knew if it was open. You never knew what would have it in stock until you opened the door. <laughs> why? Why Sounds not? like a pretty loud bar to me, Tess, but <laughs> I have to. I have to ask. Why not Schrodinger's cat? I don't have a cat on board. <laughs> but do you have dive bar? Yes, this one was called the dive bar because of the the diving into base camp eight. Ah. Okay, that's so it's the still the same idea, but it's uh, slightly more underground. <laughs> <laughs> but you're in luck that it happened at Base Camp Eight. We were yes. quite at the beginning at that point yet, so you didn't have much to go back to bubble. So it was only forty thousand light years, I think. Huh? Was it that much? Something like that. Yes. Oh. I can't remember anymore. It's been so many months since Space Cap 8. Yes. Did you also start uh, in, in your Imperial Cutter? I can't remember if you changed your ship. No, the first one was a cutter as well, yes. like the Imperial Cutter so far. Yes, I like it. It handles reasonably well. In Super Cruise, and it's a lots of fun in normal space. It is a very yeah, pretty ship, right? Yes, it, it looks a bit scruffy now, but. It'll need a, a new paint job when it gets home. So I, I know <coughs> a lot of explorers, they, they get nostalgic, and, and, and the ships they have. Been taking on very long expeditions, distant worlds too, or or whatever. They tend to pack their ships, never repair the paint. Yes, that's the other option. If I'm but, doing lots of engineering, I may just pack this one and get something else. Are you macros, macros? Are you planning on jumping between the two planets? Yes, I have a target destination now. I'm writing it in Discord. Nice. And a target that is placed between the <coughs> between the two planets. So 
so Das Dasbert and the rest of the guys are a bit far away now. Um, I'm. I don't know where they are going. Perhaps they have, have they been caught by the gravity? I can see Dasbert ship at three kilometer away. Closing now. Asper, you you heard about the uh, elite dangerous from from the Kickstarter? Yes. Yeah. So did you join in in the, in, in the Kickstarter? Yeah, I uh, I can't remember what level it was, but yes, as I say, I got the I started with an explorer cobra rather than the sidewinder. Oh, so you went fairly high in the, in the Kickstarter. Did you buy yourself a station or a planet as well? Uh, no, I didn't. No. That was far too much money, as far as I remember. As I remember, the the, the largest donation you you could give to for for joining the Kickstarter was ten thousand pounds, I think. Yeah, something like that, wasn't it? I I could remember wrong, but ten thousand pounds. That that is that is a lot of money, even for the dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. Did you get lunch with David Braben or something with that? I can't remember the name. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I think there was something about that. That's damn ex damn expensive lunch. Yeah, <laughs> better be some good wine. If I, I would, it would be an unforgettable lunch, right? Because if only ten thousand pounds, right? If only I would have win the lottery. But I didn't. I wouldn't have. I I wouldn't mind having my name on a station or. Just just a small planet. Doesn't have to be very big, just a small one. I wouldn't mind that at all. That would be nice. So that's bro. Uh Tasper uh, you have been here on. since the Kickstarter. Yes, yeah, so I didn't play much for the first six months or so, but got into it after that, yes. Didn't what what kind of play I do play? Every this, single day, or just a few hours, a few hours a week, or I tend to do uh, an hour or two each evening. Really, get home from work, do some fixing of motorbikes, and mm. relax. Relax playing Elite Dangerous, or just relax, relax. Re relax playing Elite Dangerous, yes. What made you join the Dead End Circumnavigation Expedition? That's a very good question. That's the question we are all wondering yes. about. <laughs> yes, yes. I am betting that at this point many of the commanders are, oh, why did I join the DC? Yes. Why, oh, why? I think I just got back from Hyponia. I was looking for a somewhere to go that was a bit farther away and then this happened on the the forum so I thought yes this sounds like a long way away so you just signed up for a one yep. year uh, crazy <laughs> I didn't have a uh, engineer at no. that point either so so you decided you wanted to do the expedition in 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 a in an imperial cutter, and you you grinded for the cutter then. Yes, I can. I think I had to get the reputation for the cutter. Yes. <gasps> and and the money, of course, and all the credits. And the money, yes. And what did you do in Elite Dangerous to gather all the credits needed for, for the color? I think most of it was ground missions, scanners and stuff, like data link scanning. Combat? I don't Massacre do much combat, to be honest. No, it's mostly sneaking, spying. But a lot from, from our explorers. 
we say, uh, what do you do for combat? And they say, mm, I don't do much combat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so my combat rank is mostly harmless. Oh, yeah. I I always I always wanted to be a harmless commander and then fly around in an imperial cutter. <laughs> yes. People off. Macros Cole Cassad is asking that you will turn your beacon on. Is we done. Yes, yeah. done. Yeah, Roger. Get that a lot. It's on now. Cool. But how many Imperial Cutters do we have now? Just the one or five? Just the one, yes. Just the one. Just the one, yes. I'm not a rich boy. Rich boy, or you are a rich boy? I'm not a rich boy, no. Where are you at Distant Worlds? No, no, I've signed up for number two, but I missed the first one. Okay. You missed it by you didn't have time for it. I just didn't I know about remember. it. I think I was on another expedition. I was backwards and forwards to Colonia. I think was it the I can't remember. Was it the August expedition? I think. Uh, Distant Worlds was before August Exodus. Was it the first jaunt to Jacks? But were you? If you were at the August Exodus, I was there also with my T nine. Good, but was that the one that was, was it 17 light years? Was it 9? Mm, something like that, yeah. It was back then when there was the very first trading community call at Colonia. And August Exodus was arranged just for that. Yes. When, when, when you're not on an expedition, where is your home station? Uh, Jameson's Shinrata Dejra. Because of the ships, right? Yeah, I've got several ships part there. That's where I started from the Kickstarter, so I haven't moved from there much. Ah, you even started that at Jameson at the Kickstarter. Yes. Ah, yeah. so you're a founder then? Uh, yes. I bow before you. <laughs> <laughs> Basque. Yeah. yeah, that too. I, I can I can certainly bask. I think so. Because what? I have I have I have I have saved all imperial cutters too. So I I'm fond of basking. I love the imperial yes. cutter. It's it's the prettiest ship in Elite Dangerous. Actually, my my forum forum signature alludes to that fact. Yeah, You've seen my my signature on on the forum. I have been watching your sick many times and I see those cutters there. Yeah. Yes. Actually each each of the each of the Imperial cutters belongs to a distinct Oh what you're seeing at the signature is it's not just four Imperial paired. It, it's not just four Imperial cutters, it's four commanders with Emperor Carter very much. So, so you built much. four commanders up to get the cutter. That yeah. must have taken a long time. Yeah, I built five. But let's not <laughs> mention that here. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, man. I accidentally opened a beer. <gasps> my beer has run out. I'm in trouble. Yeah, my first one ran out too, so I'm opening my second beer. Mm, I love beer. <laughs> Just like what I said today at the Discord. I think after this, this is done, half of the fleet have developed some kind of drinking problem. Yes, Elite uh, is a drinking game. <laughs> yeah. Although I don't usually like to, I don't drink and play because that's just not my thing. I might take occasional beer no. every now and then, but I don't drink drink when I play. So. No, I, I don't do drink drink and flying. Because I 
There's, Why should you do that? Yeah, I don't get anything out of it. So I do my drinking with my wife because she is the best company I know <laughs> when drinking some beer. And you know what, Henke? Mm -hmm. The more prettier your wife gets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's something I can't say to her. Uh, but but you shouldn't mention that to your wife. But she's pretty without the beard. That's why I married her. Say that either to mm. just just mention that she's pretty. That that would be enough. Yeah, I have mentioned that many times many times today because it's our sixth anniversary today. So. Oh, congratulations, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Congratulations. That's really nice. So we have one, two, three, four, Tasford. five, six, seven, seven, eight six. What did you find out about the dead end circum circumnavigation expedition? I can't remember. I found out on the forums, but yes, when? How soon before? I can't remember. So you saw the post and said, okay, that's, that's yes. an expedition for me. Yeah. That sounds like a silly idea. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, it is silly, but it's been fun for me so far. Yes. else do you do in Elite Dangerous when you're not joining silly expeditions? Have that established. <laughs> silly expeditions. Um, I think recently most of my time has been either grinding, well not grinding, but getting the cutter together. I did with the original ship. I went around collecting some rares to bring, but they're in a hole in the ground at base camp eight. <coughs> I have a, a second commander now for playing in the bubble, but yeah, he went on the, sh the small worlds expedition for some strange reason. Commanders both on expeditions at the, at the same time. Yes. Mm, I, 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 I haven't well. read much about the Small Worlds Expedition. Can you tell us a bit about the Small Worlds Expedition? What's what's that about? Um, it was basically just a bunch of small ships, only small ships allowed, going around a few of the nebulae around the bubble. It was only something like 9,000 light years in total. Each base camp was maybe a thousand light years apart. And and when you say only small ships allowed, what what were those small ships? It was Sirenda to the. Yeah, I think there was an Orca, Sidewinder, Eagles, things like that. Yeah, I think Anything it's was on a small pad. Yeah, small bad ships. Yeah. And, and what ship did you bring to the small ships? I had a eagle. Oh, I like the eagle. Yes. Normal or imperial? It's a very nimble ship. Just normal. I hadn't had time to do any imperial work yet. Yeah, but does the imperial eagle require any rank? I don't think so. I, I don't know. know. I hadn't flown that far. I'd only done a few trading runs. Now, speaking of ships, what would be your favorite ship in Elite Dangerous? Oh, that's a very good question. The all-purpose... Oh, let me re restate that. What, what would be your all-purpose favorite ship in Elite Dangerous? Purpose ship. Mm. I think the cutter is good for most things. I quite like flying the cutter. For s if you want to go somewhere, I have flown the cutter to Hutton once or twice. Tried to land 
I need a smaller ship. <laughs> and you said twice, right? May have done. <laughs> <laughs> So you went there for your free anaconda, right? (laughs) 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 Yes, I can't remember what. I think it was the clipper the first time I went there. No. Oh dear. 45 minutes of my life, I will never get back. Yes. I have never been there. Yet. And remember to bring your um, anaconda because when you get there, you get another free anaconda. Yeah. I'm so and waiting the for, for it. it. Yes. Yeah. So the form says, I've, I've yeah. never tried it myself. Yeah. So that's it. <laughs> I'm so waiting for my free anaconda. Yes. And when you run missions, Tesper, in in your in your quarter, or do, you, do you take a small ship to from from mission running? Um, it depends. Usually, if I'm, for example, when I was trying to get the rank for the cutter, I took an imperial courier, I think. Yeah, Did you go to the usual career. places to 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 grind for for the imperial rank? Uh, I think it was on the list. Um, I can't remember the name of it now. I think uh, one of them is Inkalin, Ella Inkanin. That's one of the systems you usually go to. Yeah, basically, I found a couple of systems that had lots of data scanner missions to each other. How long did it take you to to get the the, the Duke rank? Some of days, yes. It was weeks. I can't remember. Couple days, a week. It was weeks. Well, I'm I'm halfway expecting now that. Uh, when one of the princesses from the Empire is getting married to the Federation yes. ambassador, that some of the ships, some of the Imperial lock ships, will get get unlocked. Obviously, not the Imperial cutter because that would be too generous a gift. A, a gift. And that before, when when significant events happen in in the Empire of the Federation, no, usually the Empire, that the Imperial ships, some of them get uh, unlocked. Yes, yeah, so it might be a Federal ship. You never know. Um, uh, some of them. There was an event a few months ago where some of the Federal ships got unlocked. There. The Federal gunship, the assault ship, and the drop ship, they got unlocked. Need the Federation rank to, to buy them. I, I remember that event well because I had a commander. Uh, those ships. These ships, uh, rare ships, I don't fly them very often, but I, I thought, why not? I have this commander and he all is an anaconda. I might as well get him some ships, assault ships. So I took advantage of the opportunity and, and bought me the assault ship and, and, and the gunship. And then I continued on on my rankings, so I, <laughs> I got the rank required to buy a Federal Corvette, and I, I I bought that. I didn't use the dropship at all. <laughs> oh, I missed my Corvette. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, but the the Federal Corvette is another one of my favorite ships. It, it's it's my favorite combat ship. The, the federal government. Yes, that's one thing I may try it's and do really when I get well. back. It's yeah, it handles re- uh, really well, and in, in normal space, also for that matter, in, in super cruise, it just 
melts melts all of your NPC enemies. Don't do any PvP. Not on purpose anyway. Yes. It get jumped some some point and another, but I tend just to, to high wake or low wake. It's, it's not very often I find myself in open. I don't like open very much, not so much because of the players, because of the stuttering and, and the funny instancing and, and all the problems you, you get in open. So when you try to land at a popular station to, to get a to get a landing permission, so I don't like that at all. I'm curious. I'm curious to see what the Q4 update will do to instancing because we do have get the squadrons. So one would think that something they would do something to improve the instancing because hey, squadrons. Ask that question when they release stuff a post on, on the forum about the squadron and yeah. they said that. I remember. They said there would be no changing to instancing, so yeah. I wouldn't set my hopes too high on yeah, fixing the instancing. But they might come up with something surprising. You're forced to do that, but because I'm, I mean, what's the point of, of having a squadron ship where you can land 200, uh, 205 commanders? Yeah. You yeah. can't see more commanders than more than 16 commanders at the same time doesn't make sense but we will see that in December I think yeah we'll see did you desperate say that did you have an alt commander so I mean yes I have a little alt I started I think I was when I was at uh, Beagle Point, I was there oh. a couple of weeks early, so I got, built a second commander. Yeah. So that's your escape route from Space, space yes. Madness. Yes. That's nice. You went ahead and put him on an expedition. Yes, that was one of the first things I did. Yes, I am that sad. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like having uh, uh, old commanders because, well, if all you do is jump and honk and jump, then add space. But I'm think I was thinking that if there will be DC two, then I will uninstall my alt commander and try to survive the DC experience without touching my alt commander. Push you to, to, to stay in the black? Yeah, I want to isolate myself. But that's something... CQC perhaps? Yeah. That's something to try. But I don't know if they have fixed the instancing because in the CQC it's really hard to get your friends to the same game. We have been trying many times. Yeah. I've only entered CQC by accident. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Somehow with... my, my keyboard get, gets gets alive, and I I enter the this this. But CQC is really fun with friends. Start screen so. and my my cursor just jumps down to CQC. I don't know if it's after trying to get me to play CQC, but yes. I quickly quickly try to escape. You should try with friends sometimes. It's really fun with good, good friends. Yeah. It's it's probably a lots of fun if if you enjoy that kind of game. Well, well, I don't particularly enjoy that, but it, with, with friends, it's fun. So I don't play it with random commanders. I just don't find that very entertaining. Well. I, I enjoy Pew Pew with the NPC, so I, I guess I could get caught in CQC, but played silly dangerous, so I haven't tried CQC. I think we should arrange some kind of DC tournament in CQC at some point. What do you think? 
I, I think that would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. We could at least try it and see how many commanders turn up. Yeah, we should. I'm not sure how, how that works. By the way, talking about... Up in TQC, I just, just cross your fingers and, and hope you, you meet the guys you have um, scheduled a, a meeting. Yeah. Meeting with in TQC. Mm. But by the way, Basecamp 19 was found by Grantham Crown and sad to say, SRV racing didn't... I don't think there was that many races. I raced today with Cruanto earlier today and then we raced well, we like an hour ago and, and my SRV blew up. So that was Yeah, you blew up. We, we had yeah. one official race, I would call it that. Yeah. So I, I think all the SRVs went ahead and, and I spotted that and I joined up and s suddenly you blew up, Henke. Yeah. I think SRVs hate me. <laughs> that was like my fourth time at DC when my SRV blew up. Mm. Well, customer support loves you. Yeah. And did you remember to, to record it, Henke? No. And now they hate me. Well, now they hate you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I didn't record it. As usual, I didn't have my OBS on, so... Oh, if how many SRVs support told you that that you should have your uh, record on? How many SRVs do you have on board, Desperate? Do you have two or four? I have two. Yes. Yeah, nice. I think if I how, would have known this. How many have this... Blown up, Yeah. I one. Uh, there was one back at I think Base Camp Three or something like that. Did you did you contact support about? It? Yes, I got one new one back. Yes. Nice. We have two now. Support is doing great job. Yeah, there. Yes. Actually, I I went back from the expedition to reduce my number of SRVs from two to one because. Um. Let's just let Henke blow up, blow up all, all the SOVs, and and I'll just. And how many light how many light years did you get with that change? Uh, I think I accumulated another sixty thousand light year. Yeah, but how many? What? How much did your time prints change? Ah, I get you. ah. Um, I I think my total was about three light years. <laughs> with other changes too, not not just the reduction of the ah, uh, from two okay. to one. I, yeah. I made other other adjustments. So. That sounded a bit high. The, yeah, but I, I got free and I was set. To I'm 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 still on the fence about whether or not I should go back for the Guardian if the FSD bus booster. I, I'm not really sure now <coughs> if, if if I should go back. I should go back immediately after we finish this uh, mass jump and yeah, another we have ten point five light years because well, we are slowly closing into the end of this expedition. We have ninety seven days. Yeah, back, I think. three months a bit. Three months and seven week. days and six hours twenty one minutes and one second. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I'm not really sure. <coughs> um, well, is it's a long way. It's, it's fifty thousand light years one way and fifty thousand light years another way. So that's yeah one hundred thousand light years in total. I I, I have to spend uh, time on that and much time. I can say I don't have time for that because. I just don't see the point because it's only three months away, so no, I'm not going to but, go back. Um, I haven't done the cost benefit analysis, but yes, I would save a little time if if I would 
in increase my range by by 10 light years by by not having to do so much um, SRV material gathering. And at, at at this particular point of time in the expedition, I don't find myself near the very edge that much. I'm not sure I have found a system yet I, I couldn't reach with my existing range, so... Yeah, I think we have one more difficult crossing which comes soon. We have is. one more arm to cross. And yeah. But yes. And, and I it's think not even that difficult because it only depends on how 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 far down you will go to the this, this arm we are currently on now and turn suddenly to the left to to the next arm. So you you can make it more or less easy for yourself. Yeah, but I was checking the galaxy map today and I I think that there's still a couple of waypoints I'm not going to reach because of my jump range. Mm -hmm. But I will have to wait and see. What's your range, Desperate, by the way? Mine is about 32. Oh. Yeah, so the crossings are a little more awkward for me. Yeah, you said That's that why. you haven't done a lot of engineering. I think that's fairly fully engineered, but I have a few. I'm not as light as I could be. Yeah, because I don't. Shouldn't Cutter be able to jump closer to 40 light years? If it, if it's fully engineered for ex exploration. Possibly. But yes, I'd have to look at what I can lighten and get rid of. Yeah. I, f I think I got my Imperial Carter that I'm planning to take on the Distant Worlds 2. I think I got it to 40 light years. And with Guardian it's Booster, without it's the, okay. 50. Yeah. I still don't know what ship so, I'm taking. It depends on what how the Distant Worlds 2 evolves. The crate anchor. No, I don't know. I would decide my ship when the Distant Worlds program is closed so or when they know what it will hold will there be a fleet carrier or will there be anything else it all depends on q4 update so yeah um well for my part i i would i will take the imperial coda un unless there is something about the squadron ships that it's a viable option to, to take on an expedition. And the things I've heard about the refueling the, the squadron ships points to that that you need to do a lot of material gathering to, to refuel your, your squadron ship. It's not like you, you can do, as we do now, fly close to the sun and then just scoop fuel. Yeah. I haven't heard anything about actually flying the squadron squadron ships, so I'm I'm wondering about that too. Desperate, I'm sure, we will be allowed to actually fly the. Desperate, what has been so far the best experience at DC for you? I think the best was probably a Beagle Point, when we managed yeah. to meet up with the other expedition. Yeah, it was fun. Kind of did a flyby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, kind of. Well, the one, the flyby in my instancing was quite successful, I think. Yes, yeah, I think we did fairly well. Yeah, your instance, we could have practiced a bit more, I think. Yeah. But it, it went well, I think, the flyby yes. in our instance, or in my instance. But yeah, I think it was the highlight for many at DC and many at BB also. The big up meet meetup. It was fun. I, I think one of the points of a good flyby is that when you do a flyby, you actually have something to fly by over. Yeah. Then in the instance I was in, when we got to Beagle Point, there were nobody there. <laughs> yeah. 
Just the instancing guards. Instancing it was a little guards. bit of a bland experience, really. <laughs> much fun. Mm -hmm. But I also, I also like the SRV races at the big Pond. Those were one fun also. They were fun. They yeah. were really, really fun. I yeah. loved those. Yeah. And I lost an SRV there also. <laughs> yes. But that one I got back like in half an hour after I dropped the ticket. So. Yeah, that was really quick, wasn't it? It was really quick, yeah. I think they knew we were at Beagle Point, so they put extra shifts on. I think <laughs> I think they were watching the stream. There's no other way that it could have been that fast. So. No, that they have a news flash at uh, FD headquarters uh, flashing whenever uh, Henka launches his SRV. <laughs> the big red light. Stand by, Henka is SRV driving. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> I think. Actually, Hank, I, I, I don't think it's an accident. They, they have a button at the headquarters. Let's blow him up now, and then someone pushes that. <laughs> blow Hank up. That's why they watch the stream. Yes. You know what? If I would be a game designer or I would work at Frontier, I would definitely do one that kind of button where I could just randomly blow up people. <laughs> And what's their <laughs> expressions? <laughs> kaboom. We and have a kaboom. late arrival. We have one more arrival at the jump site. This must be Grant, though, Was it I chop? think. Uh, this is... I think I see Chop. This I, I'm, is... I'm not sure how long he's been here. Yes, but I think we were, it was Chop that joined us. Hello, Chop. No, this is Clipper, and it means that it's Grant Omicron. Really? Yeah. Mm. I think. Online car, pure car. Do we have? Uh, 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 uh. Are you sure it's a Clipper? Don't see any Clippers on uh, one mask. Was it Clipper? Yeah, I see an Onka. Onka, that's Chank. Pure colors that. Tesper, no, Jackie, it's... and she tap Chen, that's you, Anaconda. Yeah, no, it's not. Well, Mickey Shades. God Mika. damn you, damn you, body kits, you mess up my super recognition. <laughs> yes, sir. Or the bear. Uh, Therefore, you should have the uh, 10 because there has the spoiler by default. You don't have to buy any body kits. You have a ship kit on too, right? No, you don't. No, you don't have a ship kit. In T10? Mine, no. no. But... Sorry. Yes. You have the amazing impulse paint job. And it really looks awesome. And it, it's really handy when you're out in the black. Because you can actually see the ships. Even though they are in total darkness. You, you can see the ones with the totally awesome... Is that the same paint job that you have, Marcus? Do you have also the same? Yeah, it's also the impulse. Although I'm not sure yours, Tesla. Is is that the white paint job? I white think impulse? it was blue originally. No blue doesn't remember. look like my blue. I don't know how to define the color of my impulse. It's it's bluish, it's a little bit of greenish, but. Yours is more white, hovering over our ships now, and yeah, yours definitely looks, looks more white. But it looks awesome. Ah, yes. it was Chucky. It was Chucky's ship. It was Chucky who. Oh, right. I, I thought she was here all along. Yeah, me also. She did the race and declared herself the winner. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my, I have to get another beer. It's freaking hot in my room. It's like 28 degrees or something. I'll be right back. Tess, but what else makes you jump in Elite Dangerous besides exploration? What do we like uh, to do? Well, I've 
as I say, I've tried doing some of the missions. I want to try and get into combat, but I need to get. I need to get good, as they say. At at PVE or PVP? PVP, I think. Yes. Player versus player. Go PVP. Player. Down other players. And other players. Sorry. <coughs> to shoot down other players. Yeah, I've not really got involved in that. I say you need a lot of money in the bank before you can do that. Or just fly small ships. I'd still need a lot of money in the bank. A lot. <laughs> Well, I heard somewhere. Could be Discord. Could be the forum. There is a training training fraction is is not the real word of of faction is is not the real word. But but there is a group of all the forum that uh, takes new PvP player new PvP players under their wings. And train yeah. them, train them to be get good. Oh, train them to good. Oh, you may find help. Yes, I may try and get my other commander into practicing. I'll use him as but, a guinea pig. Mm, yeah, and, beer. And, and, I, and I, <laughs> beer. I want beer now. <laughs> Yeah, and I think you're right, Tess, but um, it takes a lot of practice and a lot of money in the bank. Yeah, a lot of time because you need to get the right ship with the right equipment and the right and modules, and, and you need a lot of time grinding for that. Unfortunately. Still think the Ferdinand's is, is the preferred combat ship. But I think it's still the, the Mesa ship. Also heard that if if you carry certain weapons on on board, other PvP players refuse to to engage in PvP fights with you. Weapons? Was that was was that some weird kind of cannons? Oh, I don't remember. I don't know. Mm. If they spot you have those certain weapons on board, they re they refuse to engage you in PvP fights. So they they high wake out. I haven't done any PvP in Elite because I really don't particularly like it because I don't enjoy combat that much. I think PvE combat is enough for me. But there's something I can Kill. try. I could try it someday. I've only killed one other player in all my time. Intentionally. <laughs> you bad, time bad, in, bad, in bad macros. Team. Bad. <laughs> bad macros. He attacked me and he he was with a... Well, I think it was two Cobras. Out near somewhere near the Pleiades in my Anaconda and they, they attacked me both. I got the one. Yeah, I think that's a, that's the one time I, I killed a player. It's been purely by accident where I tried to exit the, the station and I, I think it was a T9 that trying to enter the, the station and, and we got we got jammed and I managed to get free but he didn't so he blew up. <laughs> I enter a station in, in my Imperial Cutter and, and I hear the announcers say that you should make way for larger ships. So that always makes yes. me smile. Yeah, with T9, Until it's the fun. Time I actually started the sizes and, and now the Beluga is yeah. the shipping game. That's fun. I mean, I, mean, I mean, what's coming out of there? Is it like capital ship? 
if you're in a, you're in a beluga and they say at the station, please make way for larger ships. What the hell is coming out of there? I like the orca, but I don't understand the fins on the beluga. I really don't. Mm -hmm. They always tear, tend to, to show up when, when you need to leave the station. There's a there's an incoming beluga there. That's part, that's part. We are closing in on our mass jump. So, how have you liked DC so far? Have you had any space madness situations or days when you don't just want to continue? Or how have I you liked DC? Space madness, but yeah, after the explosion, it was a few moments of thinking if I want to do this again. Yeah, well, that's pretty yeah, understandable. We got back into it. Yeah. But it's, After that, no. it's a good thing that you did continue. Fun. Yeah. And you're not the only one. Nice. You're not the only one who has crashed and continued. Yes. And I don't think we've still heard from Vex Matraxis, have we? No, sadly. Wrong. No. Uh, by the way, I was contacted one commander from SPVFA, which is the screenshot guild in Elite Dangerous. They have Facebook page and I joined there to see if Vex is active there. And this commander contacted me in Discord and asked if we know about Vex because he was very active in that Facebook page since April and then he just disappeared. So it's usually a bad sign. Yeah, yeah so he he might have some real life stuff so I just answered, told him that no. Something must know what's have happened. Going. Didn't wasn't Simon close to close to Wex? Yeah, I contacted Simon at Be Beagle Point, and that's when he sent his regards, and he said that he will try to contact Wex, but I haven't heard from Simon either after that. So all we can do is hope that Wex is okay. And yes. yes. <clears throat> because he was the last person you would think that would just drop out and not tell anything. Yeah, Max, he, he did some pretty good music and the, the pictures he was he was taking, mm -hmm. even though he claimed to be blind, <laughs> mostly yeah. blind, they were really awesome. Yeah, I really enjoyed the, the pictures uh, taken by Max. Yeah, you should try the Facebook group if you want to see more nice screenshots some of those are really I will never amazing. do never ever do Facebook never. ah you're one of those yes they cannot have my data they cannot have your soul my soul either <laughs> although my I think my soul is cheap I'm, I'm not I'm not sure about that so two minutes to the mass jump I think it's time for the final words. But do you have any fi final words you, you wish to share with us? I just want to say thank you very much for organizing this expedition. I think everyone's had a lot of fun. Yeah, you're yeah, welcome. Or actually, I didn't organize anything. It's all macros. You can blame him. <laughs> He's taking well, a year and... and yeah, and you know what? Mm, it wasn't my idea. It was Henke's idea. <laughs> no. I just I stole the idea. Well, I might have talked about it earlier, but you did the trade, so it's your fault. Yes, you did. I was the first to, to, to create the forum post. So. Yeah. But I'm glad to see that we still Henke have... been a great help, and the other scouts as well. <laughs> I'm glad to see that there's still this many, this many ships ongoing at Base Camp 19. This is magnificent. So, oh, by the way, Macros, have you noticed that the other moon has shifted position? Can yes, we still I have. Um, yeah, but I still still think the mass jump will jump. Hey. I think we are good to go. It's yeah, we got to go. 
18 I was a bit late. hundred hours. You can jump macros also, I will stay behind. Thank you very much for joining us, Tesper. Thank uh, you for having me. Here we go. Nice. You left me alone, you Thank bastards! You. <laughs> <laughs> see you there. I think um, I counted ten ships. Ten commanders. I'm all alone, you Six, bastards. Eight. Yeah, yeah, we are ten ships. Well, I think I would some balls. I can't, because okay, I have yeah. hard balls. Why are you always the last one, Hinka? It's nice to be last. But I got some yeah. really nice footage from the jump. Looked looked really nice. Thank you all who were at the location at the last jump and participated. And thank you, our guest commander Tespert, for joining us at the talk show. Thank you. It was nice having you. And because, as I said at the start of the stream because it is our anniversary anniversary day i have to get back to the drinking part with my wife so i must leave you now so i will tell you all That's that much more important <laughs> yeah marriage constant job so i will thank you congratulations to you again Anka. yeah thanks yes Thank you, Macross, and thank you, Desperate. Was really yeah. nice, really yeah. nice talking to you guys again after a long break. And we will see you at Basecamp 20, which we there's no info about Basecamp 20 yet, but I think that Commander Arnoldo will post it soon, ish. So we will see you at Basecamp 20 in two weeks. And this is DC Talk Show signing off. Good night.